All the ammo used in this video was brought to you by Nosler, maker of the most innovative, most accurate, and most effective bullets and ammunition in the industry. So seven years ago, I did a video titled My Get Home Gun, uh, which was based around my HK USP Combat Custom, or Custom Combat, I can't remember uh, the actual designation for this setup. And seven years later, I, I wanted to talk about whether or not this gun is still my get home gun. And if so, why? So the short answer is yes, it is still my get home gun. And my get home gun basically is philosophy for me when I carry a firearm, I like to carry a firearm on my person and then I like to carry a bigger gun in my vehicle. Um, and so for me, I, I like the idea of having a gun that's bigger with a higher capacity while still having a gun on me. I'm slightly kind of sort of paranoid about being carjacked. There is kind of sort of an epidemic of carjackings going on. So I just like to have as much gun on me as possible. Now, why the USP Custom Combat or Combat Custom? Why do I have this USP-9 still after seven years later with all the guns that have come out why is it still my get home gun? And if I'm gonna be honest, it's pure emotion. It's just, I'm, I'm attached to it. There are guns that are probably in a better position to handle the role that this gun handles for me. But I have a thing for USPs that's purely emotional. There is no rhyme or reason for it. These guns are expensive, they are bulky, but they are tanks. They are beautiful to me. They are utilitarian beauties to me. So. I always have a thing for HK USPs. There are aspects of this gun that lend itself very well to the role that I have it being as far as being a get home gun. So let's talk about that really quickly. So I have a rail attachment here, which is kind of useless because I don't actually put a light on this gun, uh, but I wanted the option of being able to do that. This is a surefire rail that attaches to what this was a pro proprietary rail initially. Um, and this surefire rail allows me to kind of be mount more universal lights to it. Um, on top of that, with the custom combat or combat custom version of this gun, you get this magazine well, um, which kind of aids in your reloads. So I usually carry this gun with two extra, with two magazines. Um, and let's talk about those magazines. <sighs> the translucent 18 round magazines. And I have three of these. And these magazines came out during the assault weapons ban. Um, and in the assault weapons ban, there, you know, there were certain magazines from a capacity standpoint that you were not allowed to have. And as you can see here, it says restricted law enforcement government use only. Let's talk about a little bit of gun control history. So I do like these mags from an aesthetic standpoint. However, I, I have an issue with some of the springs in one of these magazines, but a lot of that I think has to play, has to do with the age. Um, these magazines stay loaded. And so I just assume that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna replace the springs in that magazine um, and get that one up and going again. So the get home gun, 18 rounds of pure utilitarian awesomeness. Also, I have these Trigicon um, fiber optic, not fiber optic, these night sights. Now, I don't remember the specific model of these Trigicon sights but they are night sights with a night sight rear and a night sight front with a translute with a very high vibrant kind of yellowish greenish color circle that acts kind of like a, um, fiber, like almost like a fiber optic, like a big fiber optic. And so what it does, it also acts as a big red, as a big dot. Um, so that whenever you go to punch out, it's the first thing you see, which in a situation, if I'm in a vehicle and I find myself having to punch out uh, having, to, having to defend myself with my firearm, I want to be able to just put that big dot on target without having to do too much thinking. And another reason why I like these rear sights is because you have this U notch underneath it um, that I kind of like the U, I do. Um, not like the Glock Square or some of the other triggers, some of the other iron sights, but I kind of like this U notch. It's something about it that lends itself, that allows me to line up very easy. Sights are very subjective. So one person's love affair is another person's hatred. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearm industry? If you enjoy gun repairs, ballistics, and learning about firearms, Sonoran Desert Institute online courses might just be a good fit for you. To find out more about them, visit www.sdi.edu today. So one of the reasons also why this is my get home gun is because, and I know I'm going to make a lot of people feel weird about this, especially the, the super hardcore gun guys, is because it has a safety. It has a safety and a decocker. So, you see here, if I wanted to cock the gun, 
I can decock it. Um, and then I can drop it off and have it as safety. And if I wanted to, I can carry it like a 1911 cocked and locked. So right now safety's on, gun's cocked, cock and locked, ready to go. The reason why I do this is because I don't keep this gun in a holster. Um, by and large, I take it to and fro from my house to my car. And then if I do leave it in my car, um, I have, I have Vault-Tec safes that I can place it in and lock it in my car to, to prevent somebody from snatching and grabbing the gun. But that being said, if I'm just kind of, if I'm riding with it, say I'm on a road trip or something like that, um, this stays inside the center console in the center dash or sometimes in the glove compartment. And I keep it cocked and locked just like that. Um, or even so, I feel even just as comfortable keeping it hammered down off safety off and having that long trigger pull. There's nothing else on my center console. This is the only thing on my center console. So I feel perfectly fine and safe keeping the gun stored in my center console just like this. And I would not do that with say a Glock or uh, a, single, a single action trigger of sorts because I just don't feel comfortable with it not having a longer pull. Yes, I'm gonna have to deal with a longer pull on this gun, but I'd rather that and having the safety of the longer trigger than having the possibility of an ND or the gun going off for whatever reason, even though there's nothing in the center console, um, snagging the trigger. So I, I like that aspect of it. And I know some people that's gonna be controversial and people are like, oh, you don't need a safety on your gun. You know, just this and that, and that yada, yada. Look, let me do me and you do you. Um, I, like, I like the idea of having safeties on guns that I have around that are not in holsters. Um, even around my house, if I keep a gun lying around my house with the chamber, with the round chambered, generally speaking, they're going to have a safety or they're going to be a double action single gun. So, but by and large, at the end of the day, this is emotional for me. I, I, I really, I, I just, I could change this gun three times over and it'll probably be a better gun. Um, but I love the USPs. The USPs will always have my heart. Um, I don't think they are the best guns on the planet, but to me, emotionally, they are one of the best guns on the planet simply because I like them aesthetically. They work for me. They work with my brain. They work with the way I like things to look. And it's very utilitarian. And if I'm going to be honest, it's the same reason why I love my current vehicle that I'm in right now, um, which is the G63. It is a very old school utilitarian beast with modern creature conference that I love. Um, it, is, it is a sledgehammer that I can drive across the country in perfect comfort and peace. Um, and I kind of get that in a lot of ways with the HK USP because it is such a utilitarian gun in many respects. It's not super ergonomic. It doesn't have plushness and make you feel all good on the inside. Um, but at the same time, it feels great in your hand and it does feel comfortable. It's just not plush. Um, same way that the, my G63 is, is very comfortable. It's just not plush. Uh, a, Cadillac, a Cadillac Escalade is going to be more comfortable. Um, a Range Rover is going to be more comfortable. Um, but it'll get the job done and it'll do it in, a, in the most fun way possible. And even shooting this particular gun, I love shooting it because it's just, you have to shoot a USP to really understand what it feels like to shoot a USP. It's so mechanical in the most satisfying way as me shutting these doors. Like you hear that, like it's like a bank vault. And then on top of that, if I lock it, hear that? It's like a, it's like a rifle bolt. And a lot of reviews of the G63 say that, and, and I, I, I kind of get annoyed by it because they always say it, but it is the truth. So in the HK, same way, the way the gun sounds when it goes off, the way the slide sounds, that mechanical sound, it is beautiful. I love it. Um, and I understand totally if somebody is like, this guy's an idiot, the gun is terrible, it's overpriced, it's big, it's heavy, it's clunky, it's useless. I understand if you feel that way. I'm not even gonna argue with you about it because nothing about me having this gun as my get home gun is based purely off rational, being rational, it's not. It's purely emotional. And I think in a lot of ways, when you're talking about a gun that is as good as the USP, I'm allowed to, to, to have it purely more or less based on emotion. So I just wanted to revisit this um, after seven years of doing a video on it, talking about why it's my get home gun. And I have been in situations where I've, I've literally had this gun in hand, possibly ready to defend myself to deal with the situation that I saw coming. Um, I've done a video on it um, that, you know, you can go find, I can't remember the title of it. But that's my, U, that's my HK USP custom combat, combat custom, I can't remember what the designation is for it. But um, 
yeah, she's my baby. Kind of like, this is my baby. And maybe I'll do a full length video. Of, I still need to do a review on this god dang thing. Um, but yeah, so HK, USP, custom combat, combat custom. This is my get home gun still after seven years. Except now it has some friends. Now it may or may not have some 300 blackout friends that ride along with it as well. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.